For our last set of examples, we're going to take some small numbers that are written in scientific notation and expand them out. So how do I know that these are small numbers? They have negatives in their exponents, which tells us we're dividing, which is what's going to make that number quite small. So we're going to try doing the question first by showing a little bit of work. Then we're going to talk about how you could exclusively do it on your calculator. And then we'll talk about how you can do it using a shortcut. So 1.2 times 10 to the negative 7. Um, a negative exponent makes a fraction. So this would be the same as 1.2 times 10, oops, times 1 over 10 to the power of 7, right? So 10 to the power of negative 7 is the same as 1 over 10 to the power of 7. So 10 to the power of 7 would be a 1 with 7 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if you're not sure, you can use your calculator to help you do that. Um, and then I am just going to calculate. So 1.2 times and then 1 divided by and then a 1 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros gives me the number 0 0.0000012. So there's six zeros in front, uh, so 0 0.0000012. Now, that was just showing some steps. I wanted to practice negative exponents. But you could just do it all in one calculation on your calculator. So you can do 1.2 times 10 to the power of. Now, when you go to put in your 7, you can't just do your subtract key. You need to do your negative key. So I have a little plus minus down here. Uh, sometimes your negative might be above the 7 or the 8 or the 9 or somewhere in this region up here. Um, so for me on my calculator, I have to do 7 and then hit my negative button. If you can see what you type in, like if you actually still see 10 to the power of, you can probably hit your negative button first. And that gives me 0 0.0000012. So that's how you would do it on your calculator. Now, third option, you will notice we moved the decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spots, which matches our exponent. Right? So from here, from where the decimal point was, it was right after the 1, I have moved it 7 spots to the left, which is the shortcut. Now, I remember that I should move it 7 spots to the left because it is a negative exponent and negative numbers go this way. Right? And if it's a positive exponent, positive numbers go that way on a number line. So I am going to try one more example. And I think for this one, I might try doing it by just moving the decimal. So I have 4.96. I'm going to write the 4 and the 9 and the 6, and then I'm going to see how many times I need to add zeros. So we're looking for an exponent. You know what? I didn't leave enough space for all my zeros because they need to go this way. So we'll try again. So I've got 4, 9, 6, and I need to move that decimal 13 spots. I still don't think I left enough room. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I didn't leave enough room, but I can make this work. So I'm going to add in a zero for every one of those spots. And then the decimal point goes there, and we have one extra zero that goes in front. So if I count, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 zeros plus the 4 to make those 13 spaces that I moved my decimal. Now, this one here probably wouldn't show up on my calculator because my calculator can only show um, 10 digits. So if I try to do 4.96 times 10 to the power of negative 13, it actually gives me scientific notation back. So on my calculator, it shows 4.96, and then it shows negative 13. That is 10 to the power of. So my calculator won't show 10 to the power of. I have to know that's what that means. So if I get an answer like this on my calculator, that's just scientific notation.